Oliver Slope is with uh, Blue Line Futures. He's located in Chicago, and let's take a look at the market from your perspective there. Oliver, what do you see happening here in the corn and soybean trade, especially in soybeans with all that weakness now? Well, we've seen a lot of gyrations back and forth over the last several weeks, but if you zoom things out, you see that we really haven't gone too far either way. We've been consolidating, and a lot of market participants have been waiting for this week. And finally, here we are, just a few days away from that big report that I think will probably help give the market new fundamental uh, um, direction, whether that be a breakout or a breakdown. Right now, obviously, a little bit of weakness in corn and soybeans and wheat. But if you look at the corn market, we're just at prices that we were at last Thursday. So I don't think it's a whole lot to get concerned about. I think we're going to see a choppy trade ahead of this report. And from there, I think that's going to really set the tone going through the rest of the spring here going forward. Do you consider these markets range bound right now that we would need a breakout one way or the other here in the next week after the report comes out? They've been very much range bound, more so the corn market than anything. The funds still have a, a, a rather large net long position. I've been defending that position relatively well. So I do like to lean on the long side a little bit on this corn market, despite the length of the funds. The funds have a net long position of about 380,000 contracts. And to put that in perspective on the longs versus shorts. It's about 405,000 longs and about 26,000 short positions. So it's heavily skewed to the long side, which makes me a little cautious, but they've been defending that position very well for the last three to four months, which leads me to believe that they think there's more upside potential in this market. And with weather being a, a constant concern during this time of year throughout the Midwest, there's a little bit of a wild card still lingering out there that could help accelerate prices to the upside, that coupled with pretty good uh, demand.